This is The World of Tolkien by David Day. It is a six volume set and I picked up off of Amazon. It's all embossed with linings. Initially I thought that this was, by the way, it's not $85 up there. I didn't pay that much. Tolkien's fictional universe is a vast is as vast as the human imagination. The father of modern fantasy created characters and a world so rich with details and so unique that it warranted creating a whole new vo vocabulary. This collection of works from David Day, a renowned Tolkien scholar, is an invaluable reference for Tolkien fans of all ages. Wander through the vast lands of cataclysmic battles. Understand how the legend, uh, legends of Middle-earth relate to the real world mythology and explore the struggle between the forces of good and evil. Maps and full-color illustrations help bring this rich universe to life. So, when I first saw this, I saw this online on Amazon, and I was, I was fairly well convinced that it was the same size as the little pleather books that you can get. Now, these, by the way, are also available on Amazon. I will put links down in the description um, I've had these for a while. These are really cool, actually. But, they're not. Uh, give me a second here. What do we got? A knife. Let's see what these look like. This, uh, this collection was being sold piecemeal in Barnes Noble, and I saw the books, and I went, this is the exact same thing I've been staring at for a year, but I haven't gotten around to buying because it was kind of pricey. Um, and I went back on Amazon and looked at it because it's been sitting in my cart for forever. And read the description and found out that indeed these things were about eight inches, eight inches tall. Whereas the little leather collection um, is about five inches tall. I, don't, I have not looked in these. I don't even know what's in here. I have a vague idea. Some good art. Maps. What is this then? This is a dictionary of Tolkien. Thunder, Day, Thunder Bay Press. The one that I was really keen on looking at was the Atlas. This is this is all embossed. You can see that. I put some time and effort into this boy. I've got quite a little Tolkien library going, and I thought it would be a shame not to pick these up. I bought the uh, Easton Press, put out the what is it, five volume set of Tolkien's works The Silmarillion, The uh, Lord of the Rings, and The Hobbit. It's not, of course, it's not complete. It, you know, like uh, Tales from the Perilous Realm aren't in it, and I've been looking for a nice copy of that. But all these bindings together, put together to make themselves into a dragon. What else do we have? The Battles of Middle-Earth. Battles of Tolkien. Looks out of the way. This is all pleather as well. They did a heck of a job here. This, there's some care put into this. There you go, the eagles. We finally get to find out why the eagles just didn't fly the hobbits to Mordor. 
What's this? Is that a sticker? That's a sticker. That, that'll come off of there. Easy peasy. I'll have to get at the rest of that. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. And then, Heroes of Tolkien. Is there a sticker on the back side of every one of them? Shelob. I don't know if I want to crack the spines on those, but boy, I want to. I want to read them. The Dark Powers of Tolkien. Yeah, there's a sticker at the base of every one of them. And then, lastly, we have The Hobbits of Tolkien. This one's kind of skinny. Anyway, I thought you guys might want to check this out. If you're like me, you probably had this in your cart for a dog's age, and you just haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. The uh, I was curious as to what they looked like, and I wasn't wasn't going to buy them until I, you know, got a better idea of what they what they were about. And then I saw one of them at Barnes and Noble, and. Uh, realized that they stood eight inches tall or somewhere about that I can't tell you how much I paid for these but I they weren't they weren't eighty five dollars so I'll leave a link down in the description and then you can go and explore and see how much how much they are I think I paid like fifty bucks for them or something but I'm kind of a book hoarder. I, I have a pretty large library. I mean, for a home library, it's pretty large. I don't think I'll be keeping this on there, the little wrapper. She looks like it out. This box, by the way, is, uh, it's not as, it's not as, it, it, it's more cardboardy than, in that collection here. This you can buy this at Barnes and Noble as well, but I, I think I got mine off of Amazon. I bought it with that uh, the uh, George Martin pleather set as well. Which I've never read. <laughs> I probably ought to get around to reading it. started reading the first book of that Martin series. I actually was listening to it on an audiobook and I realized I was listening to it out of order. I had been listening to it for like five hours and I'm like, I don't understand what's happening here. But it was a little crestfallen when I found out I was listening to it out of order, so I just quit quit listening to it. 
anyway there's that these are very handsome books they aren't uh, gold leafed by any means but neither of these so anyway check it out if you're interested links down in the description I don't have an affiliate status at the moment with Amazon but I plan on getting one just know that at some point um, I may be making a small little percentage for showing you books like this. Alright, take care guys.